Hello my lovely Librans and a very warm welcome to your February 2020 horoscope. The news this month is that Mercury, planet that rules transportation, travel, technology and communications of all kinds, is going to go retrograde towards the middle of the month. But let's start at the beginning, because on the fourth of the month we've got Mercury coming to join Neptune and Venus in your sixth house. And you might be doing a lot of thinking since Mercury is also going to go retrograde in that sixth house on the 17th of the month. You might be thinking about your work. You might be wanting to make some changes in your work. There might be some communication uh, challenges to do with your work. You might be thinking about even changing your career or your work direction. It's also a wonderful time for focusing upon your health, your well-being. You might start a new exercise program, a new diet, something that really uh, gives you more vitality, allows your energy to come through more clearly. You may also uh, be thinking about the ways in which you use your time. The sixth house has everything to do with daily habits. What are you doing on a daily basis? When you wake up in the morning, do you have some kind of a ritual or routine that really makes you feel good as you start your day? Or are you chopping and changing? What can you do maybe to create really positive daily habits? And that's what the planets are encouraging to you to think about and maybe to do. Now your ruler on the 8th is going to move into your 7th house. Perfect place, lovely Libras, for harmony, peace in relationships. For those of you looking for a relationship, this could be just the month that it may happen for you. It's also a good time for uh, meeting a business partner or creating some kind of a, a business connection. But certainly it uh, brings out even more of your magnetic qualities and enables you, if necessary, to smooth ruffled feathers and to create um, a really good sense of sweetness in your relationships. On the 9th of the month, we've got a full moon happening up here in your 11th house. This is shining a light, lovely Libras, on your social circle. Maybe it's time to change some of the things that you do socially. Maybe if you're not getting out enough, you'll decide, hey, I'm feeling a little lonely. I want to be around more people who resonate like I do. Maybe it's time for some changes in friendships. You might see a friendship from a different light, something new. You might decide, I want to join an organization of like-minded people. And that could be an online situation because so much is online now and our world is so much smaller, or it could also be in person. And on the 17th, we've got this Mercury going retrograde till March 10th. So it's a good time to rethink what it is you'd like to contribute. It's so important to feel as though the work that you're doing, whatever you're doing in your life, is making a difference to another person or group of people. Time to think about ways in which you too can make a difference and feel as though you're doing something valuable that is helping others. You might decide to volunteer. You might decide to uh, do something just impromptu for somebody that you know could really do with some kind of a lift. And of course, when you do that, you too will feel lifted. On the 20th, the sun comes into this sixth house and the 23rd, a new moon in the sixth, giving you an opportunity to rewire yourself. If you know you've got something that you need to deal with, maybe you've got to get some dental work done, Maybe you need to have some blood tests. Maybe you need to change your diet, take the sugar out, whatever it is. This is the opportunity this month to really renew, refresh, revive, rejuvenate yourself. 
I also forgot to add also on the 17th, the day Mercury goes uh, retro, we've got Mars coming into your fourth, which makes this a wonderful time for the last couple of weeks for repairing, renovating, getting anything done in the home area. And some of you might be deciding to move or make some substantial changes in your family or home situation. So I wish you a wonderful month and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.